It's the 7th of August. I'm Jerusha Sukthia Rath and you're watching News 24 Live. Here are today's news headlines. The EFF is taking President Jacob Zuma to court in its bid to have him repay some of the money spent on his private Nkandla home. The economic freedom fighters tweeted the case number of the party's application to the Constitutional Court to force the president to pay back the money. ENCA earlier quoted Malema as saying, we are waiting for a date from the Constitutional Court. We have a case number and we want the court to compel the President to implement the remedial actions of the Public Protector, including him paying something for the non-security features at Nkandla. In Parliament yesterday, Zuma said there were processes that needed to be finalised. The Nkandla Ad Hoc Committee was still discussing the matter, he said. Meanwhile, the Nkandla Ad Hoc Committee has officially adopted Police Minister Nati Ntleho's report that President Jacob Zuma will not have to pay back public money spent on his Nkandla home. In a statement issued by Parliament spokesperson Temba Gabula, the committee members from all parties found that there was gross exaggeration of the scope, scale and cost of the Nkandla project and South Africans were misled about the opulence of the private residence of the President's. The matter is likely to end up in court with the EFF along with the ACDP and the Freedom Front Plus all threatening legal action. And US billionaire Donald Trump has refused to rule out an independent White House run should he fail to win the Republican nomination. He took to the stage at the first major debate of the 2016 race and tensions between the Republican Party's top 10 candidates soared when Trump said that he couldn't promise to back the eventual party nominee. He also couldn't promise that he would not mount a solo campaign. Senator Ryan Paul shouted across the stage that Trump was already hedging his bets because he was used to buying politicians. Trump is known for making disparaging statements about women and immigrants. More on News 24 Live.